Okay, so guys, let's take a look at a new tool that just came up. It came up on my LinkedIn feed. It's one called G Vision. G Vision, and what it does is it operates via Google Cloud and Google API services, and it will take an image that we feed it for reverse image searching and not just reverse image searching, but also um, try to identify any digital footprint of where else that has been shared online, um, and also for um, geolocation. Okay. And it's an actual, it's a pretty good tool, pretty good tool, and ho hopefully it's something that will stick around, okay? So first thing, what we're going to do is we're going to do our Google for G Vision GitHub. This should bring us to one, it's by Gonzo, Gonzosint, Gonzo, Gonzosint, yeah, okay, well done on this tool, good job. Okay, and um, let's have a look, what I really like about the tool, okay, number one, good documentation, okay, it's always great to see good documentation on any tools. So let's take a quick look, okay? There is an MP4 video here, but I'm going to break it down and show you step by step how to set it up and how to get going, okay? So let's have a look. So it has here, get started, okay? Go to Google Google Cloud Platform Consoles. When you right click that, it's going to open up. This is um, a Google Cloud Platform, okay? You will need to first off, you will need to, um, they provide um, a 90 day, um, free 90 day um, a trial run so you don't need to pay anything it's not going to cost you anything and you get 300 credits which is really really nice to test it out see if you're into it etc okay this is now the google cloud not the tool that's giving you credits and that and that you have to set up okay it's the google cloud services um and then from there okay let's have a look first thing what you want to do then okay and um, you want to activate that and when you activate that it's going to you have to verify your card number and that kind of thing okay just to enable billing Okay, and then you'll see it when you do have your project, you can click on billing and just enable that. Okay, but let's start from scratch. Okay, let's say we're starting a new project. Okay, so you go into up here, select projects, new project, and we're going to call this Video Demo G Vision. Okay, no organization. That's fine. Okay, we have a new project. I'm now going to, so it's creating the project. Once it has created that, I'm going to jump into it. Um, and have a look okay once it's ready hmm, there it is there okay so once it's ready we're going to jump into that project okay so we're in this project now okay and what we want to do is what a set up api okay so over here on the left you see apis and services Okay, we're going to click on api and services and what we're looking for is the vision api cloud vision api so down here to the library and in library and don't worry guys, all of this is outlined here, okay? Go here, create a new project or select an existing one. Enable the Cloud Vision API, okay? In order to enable it, like we said, we'll open up a drop down, APIs and services, library, okay? From library, we're gonna look for um, Cloud Vision API. Should come up, hopefully. Cloud Vision API, enter. Let's have a look. I spelled something wrong, did I? Let's go again. It's Cloud Vision, isn't it? Yeah, Cloud Vision is space on the vision. Okay, let's go with that. Cloud Vision API. And there we go. Okay, Cloud Vision API. Once you click on this, then you go into enable. So we're going to enable that API access for this project. Okay, and once it begins to enable, it might take a few seconds, guys, but just bear with it, okay, because it is worth and um, worth setting up and worth checking out so it should be enabled there now okay we are now enabled good next up what does it say in our good documentation create a service account and download a private key in json format okay so we're going to come up here here and what we are looking for if i can find it what are we looking for let me go back to the overview dashboard what we're looking for is our keys. Okay, just back to the normal API, maybe. Credentials. Okay, and in credentials, we're going to create new credentials. And we're looking for service account. Okay, because remember it says it here. Service account and download private key. So once we do the service account, we're going to call this test video. Okay, just to keep it simple. You don't need to copy that because we're going to export it as JSON. So create and continue. Now we're select a role. Okay, we can leave that. We don't need to do any of that. That's all optional. Let's say done. 
And once it's done, we should see it here. And let me close that down. We should see it here and click in. Once you click in, we should have an option in keys. Okay, add key, create new key, JSON. Okay, that's what we're looking for. So we're going to create that key. And that's going to actually save onto our device. Okay, I'm going to take that key and I'm just going to, let's, I'll, we'll leave it there for now. Um, okay, so that's that set up. We have that done, okay? So next up, upload your cloud vision api key okay that's in the tool okay that's not in this so we're done here with our google cloud let's say okay so next up we're going to set up the actual tool in our workspace and um, it is a linux based tool okay linux based environment at the minute i am working in the new csi linux 2023 so i'm going to open up a terminal in the terminal first thing obviously we need to come up here and we're going to copy our copy our link to the tool in the terminal, I'm going to say sudo git clone and then simply paste in our link. Okay, and what's that doing? Okay, saying hey computer, go to go to GitHub and clone this repository. Okay, this this is the tool I'd like to use, and I already have it done. Okay, but we'll run it through again. Okay, already exists. Okay, but when you don't have it exists, it, it will load it for you. Okay, once that's done. What you want to do is go into the directory wherever you have it done. And see the G Vision, we're now in G Vision with LS and list. Okay, what have we got? Okay, and what the first step, what should mostly be done most of the time is requirements.txt. So to order this, we're going to use pip. We're going to say pip install tag or requirements.txt. And again, I already have it done, but it's going to run through it anyways. And I know what it's going to tell me already. There is a new version of pip out that I need to update. Okay. Anyways, regardless, done. Okay. And guys, remember these steps, great documentation. All the steps are here. Okay. Pip install requirements. Now next, we all we need to do is run the tool. To run the tool, we type in streamlit. Am I spelling this correct? Yes, streamlit run gvision.py. Okay. Run gvision dot py and for all my students out there what does dot py mean it means python okay it means it's written in the python and um, it's a python script that we're going to going to run once we do that this should then open up a, in our local host here we have the gvision tool okay so we can minimize this let's maximize this a bit actually let me I'll maximize that because I want to do some dragging and dropping now in a minute. So here it's saying, okay, drag and drop file here. JSON. What f what JSON file could this be? This is the one we have downloaded here. See this one? Okay, so I'm going to say show in folder. I'm going to drop that into here. And now it's done. Now it's saying, okay, please upload an image. So for my image, I'm just going to use the test image that they use in the one. Okay, so that's, that's all up and running now. So all we need, let me minimize this. Okay, here is the support image types, JPEG, both styles, and PNG. Okay, free for the first 1,000 units a month. Okay, that's that's quite a lot. That's pretty good. Okay, and um, so let's drag and drop an image in here. And let's see what it gets. Sorry, into here. Make sure it's in the actual box here or I won't load. Okay, so it's analyzing the image. Okay, and let's see, no landmarks detected. I'm surprised because that is the same test image used in their documentation. Um, and it brought back the actual the actual map. Okay, that's a shame for the video, but it has identified, look. Um, okay, as Everest Base Camp, and Mount Everest, etc. The summer, okay, there's some, some kind of keywords coming back to it. We have different links to Let's say copy and paste different links to maybe where this has came up in the past. Here we go, there it is. Okay, and obviously visually similar, similar. Okay. Yes, it's only a new tool. Okay. Um now in the documentation they have now it did actually show a Google Maps um representation, exact geolocation, okay, and um, which is worth checking out. But guys, look, it's only up a few weeks, two weeks or something. It's only a new tool, it's going to get better um, and it's going to improve, but so far it looks like a really nice 
nice start to its initial development stages that it can do all these things for us it's always nice to have one place that can do multiple resources for us so we can be a bit more efficient with our investigation so it's just a nice tool that i thought i'd cover if you have any tools you want me to check out and um, if you have any tools you have any questions about you want you want me to try break down or take a look at please let me know okay and um, i hope you enjoyed and as always click that like hit that um subscribe and i hope to see you again in the next one Close doors, I'm a fool for your love